guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 7 of Parallel World Pharmacy. Yeah, you're probably wondering, like, Deja, really? It's been a whole week and such. I was busy this week. Hella freaking busy. And today, unfortunately, when episode 8 is about to come out, probably, maybe even by the time this comes out for you guys, maybe episode 8 will be out. I'm not 100% sure that <laughs> today was the only day. Hell, I did Ruby yesterday. And I'm now doing this in Love Live today. So, you know, time, busyness, fucking crazy. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode 7 in 3, 2, 1, go. This is, how, this is continuing, like, right off where he got kidnapped, correct? Because that's how last week's the Well, the episode before this ended. And now look. So what you gonna do with them? <clears throat> Well, it's not his fault, though. Excuse me. Excuse me. I thought he would have I would have made a run for it, but I understand. Yes, he wants to be compliant, and I get that.
Y'all honestly think this is gonna work. Doing this isn't helping! He's a baby, innocent baby boy. Huh. Hmm. No, I honestly he's really fine. I mean trust me. See? Not a scratch. But my thing is, if they chose violence, so it's okay for you to get violent, even though sometimes you want to be above them. I get you, but still... Yes, now you just realize you don't put that I mean, he cut. Hey. Oh. <sighs> I guess even though you were being a holes to him, you don't need to do that. Plus, of the fact is, he had no armor on to protect him.
You ain't gonna knock him out for that ish. He gonna feel everything when he's awake. Bruh. Okay. Okay. And of course, after this, he's gonna be in his debt for him. Like, straight up. Oh, God. The freaking needle. And that's supposed to knock him out. Okay. Exactly, we don't want that. So... I mean, yeah, because he could have been an ass and also killed him, and you know, hey. He tried to be, he was the bigger person, and he's like, you know what, no, let me save him. Just don't try to kidnap him again, please. Huh? Ooh. Oh, it's the one from the opening. I, I mean, yeah, I, you've only known him for like a couple of months. I mean, but I get you. <laughs> Uh-huh. 
Why do I feel like when Ellen's going to hold it, it's going to be really heavy? Oh! Shit. Okay. Got you. <laughs> Good. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, I feel like now with the wand and that he's able to fly, I think he can fly just about anywhere. So he can be there very quickly just to help someone. <laughs> It is a big melon. I know grapes are so much better. I mean, yes, because, you know, grapes are so freaking good. Hmm? Probably because of the fact is they are expensive, but inexpensive at the same time.
Mm-hmm. Hey, who knows about that? Yeah, but even if you accidentally overwork yourself, you're still going to overwork yourself. And that's not the greatest feeling in the world, but you know, hey, extra money, not mad at that. And it would end it like this. And of course, we ain't gonna know to see how that happens until later on today. But really, this is like, I love the fact that this, well, the church, that group, who kidnapped Falma, they, at first, yes, they were a little, you know, bitchy esque because. Excuse me, because of the fact is like, okay, yes, like, hey, Falma's dangerous, we barely know much about him, yada, 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 so of course they have to be a certain type around him. They have to keep their guard up, but because of the fact is he knows his way in magic and, you know, his ish, and how he was able to defend himself against all of them, and also put his foot down on the back on the fact of like okay yes one of them got hurt falling off of his horse and in a way was internally bleeding inside and such and so he put his head up and being the bigger person was I'm gonna go ahead and try to help him don't want him to die because this is going to possibly make it even worse and it became a beautiful friendship and he got a one and a talisman out of it so you know hey that's a good thing in my book. But of course, the fact is we have to find out what the heck is going to happen next with this little girl. Hopefully she is okay. Thank God today is Sunday. And we'll find out later on in the day. But of course, from the title alone, Influenza and the Dawn of a Pharmacy, of course, it is the common cold, which is always the worst timing. I always hate or hated Especially it was always around the time between either when my birthday came or about a week after my birthday. So, of course, I've, as I've always said, my birthday is in October. My birthday is about, like, maybe almost, like, two weeks before Halloween. And 50 out of 50 between the end of October going on to November. Like, let's say about Thanksgiving. That is normally the time when I get sick. Where always someone, usually now it doesn't happen, but because I am now working at a job where I am handling mail like 24-7, or before that job, I was a cash, cashier register, um, and or really more of a cashier, working and handling like food and everything, and you know, people coming in is such but when it starts getting colder because even though like when I'm at work I don't really wear a mask because I'm like mm, it's not that bad I still use hand sanitizer yada yada wash my hands even with a certain situation that has been happening for the last two days now technically now going on three freaking days with um our water people here in Jayville um <laughs> yeah, but a lot of us have been getting sick because of it. But, like, of course, when it gets cold, yeah, like, I'm going back to wearing that mask. I don't give a F because I'm trying not to get sick. I don't want to get sick. I don't like being sick. And I feel like my manager, um, even if I do possibly get sick, he's not going to let me have off, like, no matter what regardless but I mean yeah today's episode or really last week's episode was really good I'm very excited to see how um Falma deals with the influenza and everything how many people are going to be effective in this if the guild thing is going to work because I do want that I want anything that he you know sets his mind to to be successful so I feel like once again he is going to use the one that the church gave him to see uh, Marie, even though something tells me she's kind of still like in town esque. Maybe I'm not 100% sure on that, but we ain't gonna know until tomorrow. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to towards episode seven of Parallel World Pharmacy. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like, it really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad, and of course, I will see you guys all officially later on today for episode eight. Bye, guys.